Okay, split relay or solar panel charging or bench charging uh, for your leisure batteries for window cleaning, water fed pole. Okay, um, I don't actually use a split charge relay um, because I don't cover the mileage. So I use these solar panels and if you watched my um, previous um, videos, you see how combined it's 70 watts, which fetches in just over four amps uh, per amp, amp power. Okay, um, what are the advantages? Well, come summer, um, in my van, I have two batteries here. One's a backup in case this one should run dry. I have a battery here for my electric wheel, and I also have one in my trolley. Now, come summer, I want to be fetching in more amps than I need for my battery, so therefore, I can connect either of my batteries and charge them up while I'm driving around or whilst I'm working. So the advantage of a solar panel is if my battery is flat I don't need to run my engine and the chance of someone stealing it. Instead I can go for my lunch, park up in the sun and get some charge coming through. It's winter so we've got low light, low sun so it's not brilliant, admittedly. So during winter, at the moment, I've been bench charging my batteries about once a week. But it's now the weekend, it's Friday, I've got a day off work. Okay, so I've parked in the sun. So that's the main advantage, or the second advantage of a solar panel. If you're not working, it can still top up your battery. Okay, so looking at this, so far today, where is that? I've had 3.8 amp hours um, put in, so nearly 4 amps have gone into my battery. Okay, I'm um, currently at 12.9 volts as well, so it's um, keeping it nice and healthy, and that's why I'm not working. So, free electricity, free topping up my battery. Um, you can't get that on a split relay, obviously, you'd be needing to bench charge your battery um, if need be, or obviously, if you're work using your work fan. Um, outside of work purposes to charge it up then obviously you could do that but solar panels um, for me is quite good the MPPT controller comes somewhere that will be uh, a godsend because basically what that will do is it will regulate the charge coming through to my battery it will pull it down to the same voltage required for my battery 13 volts the over voltage late comes as I said I've got combined wattage of 70 watts what this will do is convert those over uh, volts, over 13 volts, turn them into amps and feed them a battery with more amp supplyage. At the moment it's not a lot of sun so therefore I'm not actually um, getting 13 volts at the best uh, when I'm working. So I've bypassed the, that. All this is simply doing is I can keep check of what amps I've got coming in. Um, that's the main purpose for that. But yeah, so um, in short, solar panels can be used to top up my battery during the course of working days, especially in summer. In winter, being left on, um, using an MPPT controller as well perhaps, that will make sure that I don't get too many volts coming into my battery and damaging that. So there's a lot of advantages um, for using solar panels. If I didn't have as many batteries uh, to run from, I could fit a AC-DC converter and perhaps charge up my mobile phone or use some other um, appliance if needed, um, but at the moment I don't. So, I um, can't really compare it to a split relay, apart from you've heard stories of people using split relays, um, running the shorts on the battery so they're having to run the fans while they're working, and uh, there's been a couple of reports of people losing the fans that way. Um, I'm sure there's more advantages to it than that. I don't use one, like I said, so it's not a fair comment to make. But the solar panels are an advantage.